Welcome to MFS Media. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, AR-15 bolt carrier groups. In particular, we're going to be taking a look at a nickel boron bolt carrier group and a black nitrate coated bolt carrier group. Uh, we're going to talk about the benefits of nickel boron and whether or not it's worth the extra money for the nickel boron bolt carrier group. Also, make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video to find out the uh, poll results from last week. What's the most common caliber people are carrying, 9mm or 45 ACP. Um, also, stay tuned to the end of the video for this week's new shirt. Um, let's uh, hop right into it and talk about these, uh, these two bulk area groups here. So starting off, let's start with your standard bolt carrier group. This is what um, you'll get in pretty much any kit that you buy unless you specially uh, choose something else. But any upper, complete upper that you buy, any rifle that you buy complete, probably nine, nine out of ten of them will have a bolt carrier group very similar to this. This is a toolcraft bolt carrier group. You can find these for right around eighty to ninety dollars. Um, you got your gas key, it's staked properly. Uh, this is an outstanding bolt carrier group, especially for the money. Uh, with Toolcraft in particular, you'll find that they actually are an OEM parts manufacturer. So a lot of the time, they'll make stuff for, to my knowledge, and I'm sure people will correct me if I'm wrong, which I might be, but to my knowledge, like Spikes Tactical, stuff like that, places like Toolcraft is really who makes them and then they slap the the Spikes Tactical name on it and then you add some more, more money to it. Right here you got a Nickel Boron um, bolt carry group. Um, so this one in particular is actually the Palmetto State Nickel Boron. Uh, now again same thing to my knowledge this is actually made by Toolcraft um, and PSA then essentially uh, buys it from them and slaps their name on it. This in, this one in particular does not have PSA's logo on there, but you can get some that do. Um, so you notice, like, as you can tell, one's much lighter than the other, uh, color-wise and, sh you know. <laughs> but you also notice that one is... Uh, it's kind of hard for me to tell in this video, and I apologize for that, but this guy right here, I just got this. This is brand new. I'm putting it in my new 300 Blackout build, um, so I haven't had a chance to use that one. I have another, uh, I have other firearms with uh, the Black Nitride, but this is just what I had readily available, so I apologize for that. But what I wanted to kind of show you is what's nice about the Nickel Boron is that it's Easy, it cleans much easier than your standard black nitrate. So, um, the black nitrate, after you get done at the range, that sort of thing, you'll have to use some cleaners to, to get everything away, to get everything off of it, which isn't a problem by any means. I mean, that's what you should be doing regardless. Even with the nickel boron, you want to be using cleaners. But, what's nice about the nickel boron is that you can take a paper towel and just wipe away almost all the gunk. All the um, the carbon buildup come right off. Also, nickel boron is a natural lubricating uh, coating, so in theory, it should run better in your rifle, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I mean that's really the two. That's the biggest advantage to the nickel boron uh, pull carry groups is the fact that it's naturally lubricating and it's easily cleanable. So. Uh, it should, in theory, run better in any AR. Um, I can say that I've used about 500 rounds through this, so it hasn't been through, you know, the ringer really at this point, but about 500 rounds in, and so far, so good. I'll obviously update you guys if uh, I have anything, you know, negative or anything else positive to say about it. Um, now, when it comes to the value of these, so this is about an $80 bolt carrier group shipped right here. This is about a $90 bolt carrier group shipped. So, if you're willing, if, if you're willing to spend that extra 10, 10 bucks, I'd say go with the nickel boron just because, I mean, everything on paper says that uh, it should be better. 
Now, with that being said, this is the tried and true black nitrate coated bulk carrier group. Works just fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But if you want to go a little bit, you know, on the uh, on the upscale side of things, might as well with the nickel boron. Um, also, uh, this is just, you know, the tool craft stuff. If you're looking at, you know, Fail Zero, BCM, anything like that, you could be looking for a nickel boron right around 160. I've seen some up to 225. Uh, and then with your black nitrate, they kind of start around that 100 $120 range and just kind of go up from there. So looking at other brands, that's what you'd be looking at. If you're looking at the tool craft, I'll leave a link in below to tool craft website where you can check it out. But, um, they're very reasonably priced and so far so good. So let's go over the poll results from last week. 63% um, of the 978 voters voted that they carry 9mm every day and the remaining 33% says that they carry 45 ACP uh, you take a look on the MFS Media Facebook page and you can see that there's been a lot of arguments that have ensued. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's pretty funny, it's all good, and, it's all in good fun. Um, but take a look at that and uh, later today I'll be also putting out a new poll and we'll see where it, go, we'll, where it will go from there. Then also, right here, You'll have the new t-shirts for this week that are available for set for the next seven days. Um, feel free to, uh, if you like it, feel free to buy it. Otherwise, you know, share it. <laughs> uh, it's always going to be Second Amendment related, um, and it's always, you know, designed by me. Um, so, you know, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.